the quickest way to lessen or end suffering is to really focus, really um, inquire into thoughts and anxiety and feelings. We have to really do the the inner work and emotion work to um, to break that barrier. Most of um, most people on the planet do suffer from anxiety especially now it's so much overstimulation with technology it's like constantly in your face always there um, and it can be a lot it can be a lot it's the constant murmur and chatter um, which isn't you so the quickest way we can become present become who we are as the isness of, of everything is to inquire into thought. When we have a bad moment or day, inquire into who is it that's who is it that's experiencing this? Who is it that's thinking this? And we notice when we do that that the thought or whatever's arising isn't really as real as we thought it was that it does come and it goes and you can just be right now and here be you which is everything which is consciousness and so we can always come back it's not just meditation meditation we where the thing where people can get trapped is it becomes like a doing like oh i'm i'm doing meditation Oh, something should be happening now nothing's happening <laughs> and meditation is what we're, what we're actually what it's actually what actually it is is the realization of of the formless of the transcendental which is always there so it's not just meditation it's not that we're doing a meditation it's that we are meditation that always in your day-to-day -day experience there's a space a field of consciousness which is limitless. If we tried to describe it, it'd be translucent, be transparent. Um, it doesn't have a shape or, or color. It's just like a screen, a screen on uh, the movie screen, which is a common analogy. The screen's always there and the movie appears real. It, appear, it appears like there's dimensions, like there's characters on the screen, but it really is just the screen, the pixels. Um, so it's like coming back to this when something arises it's difficult coming back to who is it that is viewing the thoughts that is viewing the images on the screen that's viewing the narrative right now and this ties into emotion work as well when we have strong emotions um, really really allowing it allowing and feeling it because uh, resistance is what keeps us binded in the illusion of ourself, in the illusion of separation. It's the resistance, and we all have resistance. We can feel it when, we, when we're resisting something. We usually hold it in some part of the body, maybe in our hip or our foot. We tense up, and um, it, it becomes... Yeah, we, we, we actually we, we move that, we move that um, energy into that part of the body, but... When, we, when we're feeling uncomfortable feelings or a lot of emotion, it is just allowing, completely allowing, relaxing your body and allowing the feelings to come through. And the more you do this work, the more, the more you begin to awaken, the more you'll see actually starts to surface everything that you're not, everything that um, you've held in. It's all stored in the body. It's all energy starts to surface. So it actually paradoxically you start opening up and you feel more present, you feel more free, but then equally as much there is with that, with that opening, there's the rising of, of um, everything that's there. So it's having compassion for yourself and just knowing that it's okay. It's okay. All of, you know, you're not crazy. You're not a weird alien person that all of the thoughts and feelings are completely normal on the self-inquiry part.
and this isn't this isn't about being spiritual or or unspiritual or awake or unawake because there's no one that's awake or unawake there's no one that's spiritual or unspiritual because everything as reality as who we are is just always here it's always everything it's it's not an idea or a category or label it's you it's me it's the sky it's someone having a tantrum on the street at 2 a.m we are that as well so it's everything and this realization recognition it 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 doesn't come from any it's what every tradition speaks about is that we are all one shared being and that being is love is happiness is freedom and so we have to drop all of our spiritual ideas all of our spiritual ideas all of our whatever tradition or religion you follow all of those ideas because when we it's okay to go 100% with one thing to go all out with one thing but when when it becomes almost an extreme uh, like this is it this is it you know we we all know that we all know um, we've had people that are, that are like that it actually it does the opposite it creates more separation and then we lose touch with with what is actually happening and who we are and so don't take anything that I'm saying to be completely true because it's not there are only words coming out of my mouth they're, they, they're meaningless they don't mean anything and none of it's true really that which is true which we notice as awareness through all of this is this it's just here and we can't describe it. So that's the whole divine joke, right? Is that it's always here and we can't describe it. It's always here. But there's also, there's a, a realizing this, this, this awareness that's always here, always has been here. There's a, then an allowing a full acceptance of all experience, all of every thought and feeling and experience. And the beauty in that becomes less heavy it's like sometimes we just feel like oh you know I don't want to do this anymore I just want to wrap up in my blankets and sleep and you know we shut ourselves off but even that that's okay as well this is coming back to the okayness of everything and that you are you are consciousness experiencing itself as an apparent individual as sen as a sense of separation but what you are can't be touched by anything. What you are is limitless, is infinite. Like when we look out into the sky, the space in between you and me, it's the same space, the exact same space that I take, that I imagine if I took the space from here, same space that is in the room where you are now, it's the exact same. It's infinite, it keeps going. <laughs> So, realize this, that you are everything. You are infinite awareness. And that can be felt, can't be thought. And we can allow thoughts. Thoughts are okay, but we're not it. We're not the feeling as well. We're just here, we're always here. We're always present, just like you are now. Because you are everything. You are me. You're the, you're the computer screen, you're the phone, you're everything, but it's not you. It's not you as the individual. It's you as consciousness, which is everything, which doesn't have separation, <laughs> which isn't an idea, a pair of shoes, a hat, a t-shirt, a belief, a religion, a tradition. It's much more than that, but it's also not. It's also way simpler. It's always been here. 
It's just this. This appearing as separation. Appearing as finite. But it's just this. Beyond every idea of start and finish, birth and death. Beyond every belief and experience. It's just always here, always has been.